What's up my dudes? I got five awesome exercises to improve your balance. But I got my boy Josh here. What's up everybody? And stay to the end because I'm gonna give you five bonus tricks that you can perform to make you a better snowboarder. So the very first exercise we're gonna dive into is going to be... Jumping on the BOSU and jumping off, working on our balance. So Tommy's gonna jump up on the BOSU here and then he's gonna jump off forward working on that balance control. Then he's gonna do it again, but now he's gonna go to the right, then he's gonna go to the left, and he's just gonna really work that stability. So you can see when he jumps on the BOSU, it's not really moving around. He's very solid, very stable, being an athlete like he is. One thing I also wanted to add is my eyes naturally wanna drift down, which is not bad in this situation, but in a realistic situation of snowboarding, I want my eyes to be looking five, 10 feet ahead. Yes, I can glance, briefly down, but then I want to direct my eyesight towards whatever's going to be happening next. Again, the goal is to mimic snowboarding as much as possible. All right, so exercise number two is we're going to make this a little bit more challenging and how are we going to do that? We're going to work on board slides now. So Tommy's going to jump back onto the uh, BOSU ball. He's going to stick the landing and then he's going to rotate, getting that shoulder turned forward, holding that for about five seconds. Then he's going to switch to the other side. And I'm a big fan of teaching board slides where we take a shoulder and point it down towards the end of the rail because as soon as I exit the rail, my lower body wants to follow my upper body. So if I were to jump, everything rotates together. But if I were to jump and my shoulders are already stacked, I'm just gonna go straight up, straight down. It's kind of weird. But if I can get my shoulder to rotate, gonna, then it's gonna help me actually do a board slide in real life. Another fun added to this, jump on, board slide, and then try to jump off in a nice strong positioning, just like piggybacking on the last exercise. Now that we're feeling pretty comfortable jumping on and off the Botsu ball, I think we need to step it up and make it a little bit more challenging. And one of the most requested tricks in all of my snowboarding comments, DMs, is going to be 180s. So let's walk me through this. Well, in 180s are gonna be a little challenging, especially on this, it's unstable, so be careful with your ankles, no injuries, season's about to start. So what Tommy's gonna do is he's gonna come in, he's gonna rotate his hips and his shoulders and land on a 180. The nice thing is if you don't hit 180 exactly, say you get like 120, you're not gonna eat it. You just stick the landing and you work your way to 180. And then you can, I would suggest starting with your lead shoulder pointed down the hill, doing a front side 180, but notice that I can see the BOSU ball the entire time. If you're ready and you really want a challenge, start backwards and then jump on. That's gonna mimic more of a backside 180 or 180s with a blind entrance. Makes this a little bit more scary, but that's also part of the fun. And that was actually a 270. <laughs> yeah. Math is hard, it's on my strong suit. So here, here, and then again, we're trying to keep our eyes in the direction we're going so I can glance at my landing and then either look in the direction I'm going or downhill. Another fun thing to add to this is I can jump on and jump off 180 or you know what? We're going to make this a little wild. I'm going to go 180 in and 180 off. And then if I want to step it up, I can hold this a little bit longer. And then I have the option of going front side or back side, which again, if we can make our snowboarding as symmetrical as possible and not just favoring one direction, it's going to make you a better snowboarder overall. And then we should probably do a 360 out. Do 360 out, see what oh. you got. What if I don't do it? <laughs> That'll work. Dom, to let's go. All right, so we're pretty much done with this BOSU ball on this way. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna do a fun little challenge, but what is it? We're gonna try to jump and land on one foot. So we're jumping from the base. We're gonna try to stick the landing, holding it for three seconds, and then coming off and then going the other way. So really working that control, not letting that knee dive in, keeping that core tight and trying to stay upright as long as possible. One thing you're gonna notice is you may have a leg that has more balance and one has more strength. Great exercise to be able to identify that, but also work on those weaknesses. My back leg is a lot more agility based. My lead leg's a lot stronger, but not as balanced. So definitely work on balancing that out. Another big hint for this one, is make sure your belly button is stacked over your foot. That's gonna help your balancing a lot. If my belly button is to the right, I'm naturally gonna fall over, which mimics exactly what would happen on a rail or a box in the park. Once you're feeling pretty awesome about 
your one-footed stability, Josh has a fun little exercise for us to try because we always love a challenge. Yeah, so now he's been doing really well getting one foot on. Now we're just gonna go straight to alternating. So now he's going left to right, sticking the landing, then going back to left and really getting that control staying stacked up top so he's well balanced the entire time. The goal is to, here is to try to get five each side without having to put your other foot down. And notice that my legs are sweeping underneath me so that my belly button is staying in the same place but my legs move. The key here is let all the legs do the work. Balance, swoop it under. And then if you want an even more challenge, try to keep your eyes up. <laughs> Looking down, it's like you want to look down but you don't want to look down. Okay, I'm looking at the camera. Oh boy, that's kind of sketchy. Yep, so super challenging, definitely try that. All right, now this is gonna be part of the video where it's an absolute bonus and I highly suggest that you follow along. We're gonna to try to do as many different snowboard tricks and try to mimic them and make it as realistic as possible on the BOSU ball. First, we're gonna start with the front lip. I'm gonna perform it and Josh is gonna give us a couple key points to think about to make sure that we're trying to make this as snowboarder is possible. I'm gonna start facing the rail. My goal is to jump and have my back foot go over the BOSU ball and land on my lead foot with my lead shoulder pointed at the, the camera, at you guys. Let's give it a try. Oh. So the biggest thing with all of this, staying tight up, up top in the core, getting the balance, sticking your landing, using your eyes to spot your landing, and then looking ahead to see what your next uh, trick's gonna be. Funny that you said that, because as soon as I engaged my core, things got way easier, so Perfect. let's go for that one. So that's gonna be called a front lip. Let's just mirror that, and we're gonna do a back lip. So I'm gonna be stepping across, and this is called a back lip, because the back side of my body is gonna be facing the feature, and a lip slide is when my back foot hops and goes over the feature and it lands on my lead leg. This one, challenging. So Josh is gonna give us a little insight on how to make this less sketchy or less scary. So, looks like this. So the big thing here is you still gotta spot your landing. So you don't, you, even though you can't see it behind you, you gotta make sure you hit twist. You can see Tommy twisting his head, spotting his landing, and then looking forward ahead. Same thing as before, soft knees, core's tight. Stick the landing and go. One other bonus is it's really easy on front side board sides. You may experience this, front side board sides or back lips, is if you hinge at the waist and drop your spine down, makes this way harder. And I'll show you an example. If I'm here and I'm like, right? I'm like gonna fall over to the side, but if I can keep that spine more upright, so yeah, gonna make that. Important really. to keep everything nice and stacked because like Tommy was saying earlier, keeping that belly button over your foot. Otherwise you start throwing off your center of mass and then you won't stick the landing. And if you don't get these first try, the beautiful thing of this situation, you get to try it over and over and over and you've already seen me get better at this. So don't get discouraged, just keep trying. The next trick that we're gonna do is going to be a fun little, we'll swap sides. Boom. It's going to be called a front tail 270 out because why not? So we're gonna enter from the front side of our body. We're gonna land on our back foot and then I'm gonna 270 out. But Josh, give me something that's gonna help the people. So when you're getting that 270 out, especially we've talked a lot about sticking the landing core is tight, really make sure you get that shoulder twist in and bringing your hips across to get that momentum through. That is underrated advice right there. And that's the biggest thing I suggest and coach is letting that lead shoulder drive the momentum. Beautiful, nice job, let's go. We're literally on the same <laughs> wavelength right now. So going here, notice my shoulder. You're watching this thing be able to spin around makes things a thousand times easier, but doing this in real life the emphasis has to be on the lead shoulder big deal now we're gonna do this trick called a front side blunt front side again the front side of my body facing the feature i'm gonna do a blunt slide which means my lead foot hops over the rail landing on my back foot but we want to have some fun with this so we're gonna do a 270 out because that just sounds like a good time why not why not exactly so if you need to practice this without the bosu ball first you can just go and hop Notice that I look. So let's try it on the BOSU ball and give us some tips. So basically the body's gonna follow the head. So wherever the head's going, that's where the body's gonna follow. So you wanna kind of look, stick your landing, the shoulder will follow the head. It's like anything else, just like driving a car, or going through trees. You just wanna look to where you're going and the body will follow. I love that. And in this situation, it's really hard because you do need to jump across 
or off of the feature so you don't roll your ankle. On a rail, for me, this is a thousand times easier to do it on a rail than actually a BOSU ball, which if you overtrain, and then it makes it easier. It's like a baseball dude who like swings a bat donut. and it's heavy, right? It's got the donut and then they go out there, it feels easier. So definitely not a bad thing if this is hard. So looking, noticing my eyes, woo! Close. I felt that I was <laughs> not gonna go off of it. So I tried to save it. I'm gonna do it one more time just for fun. Front side blunt here. So not the most cleanest thing, to be honest, it kind of hurts my hip, but I hope you understand the picture. And then the very last trick we're gonna do is called a front lip pretzel. Mm. So if you can guess down below, a front lip, which we explained first, we're facing the feature, we're jumping and are landing on our lead foot with our other foot out. Pretzel means I'm going the opposite direction of my momentum. As a regular rider, I'm going in this front side direction, then I got a twist out of it. Yep. So give us a little thought on that. I'll so give us an example. That's where it's gonna be really challenging and really get your core involved because Momentum's gonna to wanna to take you one direction, but you have to force yourself to go the other way. And so that's why this one is very challenging. I love the core idea. Another big thing that's gonna help, as we talked about earlier with where our shoulders go, the rest of our body follows. So if you notice, as I get into this front lip, I'm not here, not here. I'm actually taking this back shoulder and pulling it behind me so that the rest of my body wants to follow behind me. It's kind of sick, so I'll go here. This shoulder's back there be able to do that. But we gotta make sure it's clean. We're gonna do a little front side lip, shoulder, stomp. Perfect. You're gonna notice that I do look back uphill. Definitely helps it as well. Yep. So on that note, big shout out to Josh for helping out. If you guys have any questions about physical therapy, PT, injury prevention, but more importantly, athletic performance, yep, yep. where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on my Instagram. It's Apollo underscore performance. Let's go. Awesome, man. Thank Appreciate you. you. Like, subscribe. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm.